bottle do you think's gonna win? If I had to choose, I would say Four Roses or 101. You're wrong. Tell me about Forest and Hertford and then Buffalo Bills. Yeah. I mean, whatever. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to deal with the basic bottles from Big Boy Bourbon Distilleries. <laughs> so many b- 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 bees. Um, All the bees. Yeah, so we, okay, a couple things. Yes, we don't have Jim Beam. Yes, we don't have Jack Daniels. We felt like they're lower proof, wouldn't hold up. Uh, we tried to keep everything around 100 proof best we can. Yes, we got a couple lower ones in there, yeah. but... For the most part, they're all very similar proofs. Yeah. And there's some of the, you know, the more big boys. You know, we could have added Woodford, but, you know, we added Old Forester instead. So we could have added Evan Williams, but we decided to do Elijah Craig. Yeah. So it's all fine. I mean, we're at five. So, but before we begin, go ahead and let us know what bottles we should have added or taken out of here. Yep. And uh, hit that like, comment, subscribe, notifications. Do it know, all. Share it wherever share you are. Share it out. up. Let's make it happen. Yep. And we're all right. Let's begin. Let, let's, let's see. Because we got a lot to drink. We do have a lot to drink. All right. Ready? Mm. Corn. Yeah, you. De- the corn is definitely Sweet prevalent. Corn. The corn is definitely prevalent in there. Oak and the oakiness. That's it. I feel like we're going to say that it's good, basic. That is actually the really nice thing. They're all really good. Ooh, nice spice, nice cinnamon. It's like vanilla extract or whatever. Like, It's like you're making something that tastes like vanilla and you just squeeze a bottle of something in there. I'll be honest with you. Ain't much to that. Sweet. That's just kind of blah to me. Maybe it's because of the first one, but. Oh, no, that's super sweet. A little bit of fruit on it. It's like a fruit cream. It's like a really rich, it's not a super rich cream, but it's like a real fluffy kind of cream. Trash palate. (laughs) No one ever said my palate was good. Nobody ever said we had a good palate. (laughs) Right off, like except Jack. Jack thinks you have a great palate. Love you, Jack. There's a honey in it, a honey smell to that that I really like. That rye pops right off the bat. This is the first one that I feel like has a little bit of ethanol ethanol yeah, to it. I was gonna say that too. Has um, a little bit of like a youth note to it. Yeah. Ah, oh, yeah, all day long. Yeah. Welcome home, Daddy. Uh, I mean, if you know anything about banana smell, I think you know what this one is. I, I think I can just, from the get-go, you just know what that is. If I'm wrong on this, I'll be very surprised. Can you smell anything? No, I... What you're gonna... This smells like the inside of a pumpkin to me. Wait, is it the Willer single barrel up there? Uh, orange one? No, I'm kidding. Gosh, that's so weird. It's just like the rim, you know, the when you dig out of you know when you dig out a pumpkin, yeah, yeah, like the 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 innards, yeah, the innards (laughs) of a pumpkin, yeah. That's what it smells like to me. I don't know why. Smells like a vanilla cream from a donut. Ooh, that sounds good. And we're back. Let's back. Let's do this. Let the trash begin. I think this one's last. Oh, this is so hard. I 
It's so much of what you really want. Mm. So for me, the top four. So I think three is last for me. Five is so traditional. I think four is that banana four note. I think two is fruity. And I think one is very rich in spice. I just think, man, I just, that's super tough. All right. Okay, I'm done. I'm not going to debate this. All right. I think I'm done, too. <sighs> All right. This has been a tough decision. Yep. Uh, I'm, but I think we've we've made our decision. I'm looking at, looking at our wins. I have the hiccups. I'm sorry. We are way different. We are way different. Most one of another. Honestly, if you've ever watched us do blinds, you know that a Let's lot of times, a lot of so that a, way. a lot of times, we are pretty similar in our decision making. Uh, but this seems so. The uh, actually, we are in agreement on number three being last, last, and number five being fourth. Um, actually, I think number. four five is third for me oh okay so you have so we both have four or four. three yeah three is last as last. what is what is that so three is three is four roses that's such a surprise to me yeah oh four roses that is last in a weird way it just didn't hold up the same no it kind of stuck out as a sore throat. As a sore It was vastly thumb. different than the rest okay, of them. Yeah. Um, it, all, it also, I don't know if being in the middle also hurt it from the sense of it did, It came off yeah. a little unbalanced. Yeah. I think that's what hurt it. And I think being in the middle, I think if it was towards one of the ends, I think it would have. I think you might be right. I think you might be right. So my fourth was number one and your fourth was number, number five. five so you had 101 and while four, 30, yeah and i had uh from this number mine was a large right okay so we'll be do you hear word tell out because ours is so different yeah right, uh, so 101 was fourth uh, then Elijah and, Craig was that you said Elijah Craig was five, right? Yeah, yes, Elijah Craig was number five. Was that your that was my third? That was your third, yeah. That actually held up a lot more or a lot better than what I thought, yeah. I'm being honest. And then let's see, what do you have? Uh, number, two? Have number two is number four, number two. Two is number four. That would be Old Fortune. That surprises me. But I understand. <coughs> so that means number one for me was Buffalo Trace. That's hilarious. That, that is hilarious because I generally do not like, I, I don't even look for Buffalo Trace because I'm like, eh, it's, it's fine. I need to like it first time around, around the year. Yeah. All right. So for me, um, switch stuff around a little bit. Basically, I switch those two. I switch those, and that's right. my work. Honestly, the top four were all really good. Uh, four roses, like I said, I would be interested to see what it looked like. Uh, not, not in the middle of this line. Yeah, um, maybe on the edges. See if that. If See if that changes it or yeah. something, but it may not, because I, I think that I think its palette is vastly different from the rest of them. Well, they kind of all had different. To me, they had different palettes. Yeah. Um, but overall, but I think the rye in the Four Roses stood out the most. That made it, it completely different. See, that's what I'm saying. Um, yes, the to me, I agree. The Four Roses. Did not come off as well balanced. And I, know, I know it's from a, a product, but yeah. just in this line, it didn't. 
All right, get us out of here. This is, I'm, sorry. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, well, tell us what may may have won for you, what you really enjoy out of these five. Definitely uh, not five. Make sure these five. Five big boy uh, distilleries. They're basic. You know. Oh, God, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> that is so bad. Just tell us which one that maybe uh, might have won for you. So, and then other than that, we'll see you. Yeah, we'll see you.